like. <laughs> Let's move into our top stories. Mohammed bin Zayed welcomes the Israeli Prime Minister to the UAE for the first time. So Naftali Bennett, the Israeli Prime Minister, is vis- visiting the UAE for the first time today in a historical trip, which highlights the progress of the Abraham Accords, which were signed to normalize relations between the UAE and Israel back in 2020. Uh, this is a first visit, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Crown Prince of Dubai and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces on Monday welcomed and received the Prime Minister to the UAE. Uh, During the meeting, they uh, spoke about a number of things. They spoke about bilateral cooperation and means to further develop them in various investment and economic and trade and development areas, and especially in vital sectors across the framework of the Abraham Accords peace agreement. Now, during the meeting, Sheikh Mohammed highlighted that the UAE's foreign relations are based on firm principles of mutual respect, cooperation, and upholding the values of coexistence and peace, noting that this is the best way to achieve the aspirations of people, expressing his hope that stability will prevail in the Middle East, uh, which is brilliant. And he also added that the Middle East is a land of peace and a cradle of heavenly religious religions uh, that are sh- uh, shown over the whole world. with the call of goodness and love that is so beautiful just the way he put it it's truly like it, it makes you feel just really nice even reading it yeah exactly it's such a strong strong message because uh, the visit itself is historic uh, it's the first time that the prime minister has come over uh, as a premier of a country and been welcomed here in the uae uh, there was rumors of it in the last couple of years but this is the first time it's actually happened you know they're discussing things about climate change they're discussing about together cooperating in really really important sectors and as you said uh, how his highness kind of uh, spoke about um, religions together kind of uh, coexisting peacefully is really really important uh, so i think it's a great message That's so true. And since the signing of the peace treaty, we've seen across the board, like just the relations changing so much and like people being so accepting of it in Israel, in the UAE. And then in Expo, if you see just like for National Day celebrations, Israel went all out just to give uh, to pay tribute to the UAE. So it's it's amazing. And uh, uh, just having the prime minister down in the UAE and then talking about Interfaith tolerance, increased developments of ties between residents and of the two countries. So it's not like there's, it's not just them looking into the economy, they're also looking into the residents of both the countries. So 100%. all across.